Hello learners, welcome to IIT Madras student community YouTube channel and today we are going to discuss the graded assignment for Mathematics 1 in week 1. So the question happens to be in a college of 350 students, 120 took Mathematics, 150 took Statistics and 160 took English. Then 70 took Mathematics and Statistics, 70 took Mathematics and English, 90 took Statistics and English and 30 took all the three courses. Now consider the following Venn diagram and choose the correct options. So like in this question it is given that in a college of 350 students, 120 student has opted for the course mathematics. Now it is up to them if they want they can take more courses or they can only pursue mathematics and the same logic has been applied to 150 student who has taken statistics and 160 student who has taken English. Now out of all them 70 students has opted for mathematics and statistics both okay so like uh, this 70 student has opted for mathematics and statistics now it's up to them they can take another course that is english or they can only pursue mathematics and statistics and the same logic has been applied to other 75 student who has taken mathematics and english and 90 student who has taken statistics and english and now among them 30 took all the three courses like this 30 student has opted for all the three courses statistics english and mathematics so like now we have to study this venn diagram and choose the correct option so like the general approach for solving this type of question is like consider a sphere and name it mathematics which contains all the student who has opted for the course mathematics and take another sphere and name it statistic which contains all the student who has opted for the course statistic now you can see this yellow uh, uh, region uh, where the two spheres are overlapping now this uh, part consists of student who has taken both subjects that is mathematics and statistics now as we are given three subjects so uh, take another sphere and name it English which consists of all the student that has opted for the course English now you can see that three circles are overlapping in a region now this region or part consists of student who has taken all the three subjects that is mathematics statistics and English and the value that is given for it is uh, 30 okay so like now given the total student taken maths and statistics is 70 like we are given that mathematics and statistics student is 70 like 70 student has opted for mathematics and statistics now if we want to find how many students has only opted for mathematics and statistics only for these two subjects then we have to do the total students who has taken mathematics and statistics minus student who has taken all the three subjects so like the answer will be 70 minus 30 which is equals to 40 now similar things can be done for student who has taken only mathematics and English will be 75 minus 30 which is 45 and student who has taken only statistics and English will be 90 minus 30 equals to 60. Okay. Now if you want to find how many of the student has taken only maths like no other subjects only maths. So like uh, we are given that total 120 student has opted for the course mathematics. So the number of students who has taken only maths is number of students in maths that is 120 minus number of students in all three subjects plus number of students in mathematics and English plus number of students in maths and statistics. So like the answer will be 120 minus 30 plus 45 plus 40 which is equals to 5. Now similarly student who has taken English is uh, only taken English is 160 minus 45 plus 30 plus 60 equals to 25 and only statistic is 150 minus 40 plus 30 plus 60 equals to 20. Okay so like now we are given like we are given certain values like student has uh, who has taken all the three subjects 30 and using this we have derived some conclusions like student who has taken only mathematics is 5 student who has taken only statistic is 20 and student who has taken only english is 25 now student who has taken only maths and statistic is 40 student who has taken only maths and english is 45 and student who has taken only english and statistic is 60 so like the first option over here there are 15 students who has taken only mathematics is completely wrong because we have derived that five student has taken only mathematics so like the first option is wrong now checking the second option there are 125 students who had not taken any of the courses so like in order to find who has not taken any of the courses we have to do number um, like uh, we have to do num total number of college student that is given 350 minus student that 
are enrolled in at least one course so like we have to add up all the student uh, all the students over here like 5 plus 20 plus 25 plus 40 plus 45 plus 60 plus 30 and we have to subtract it from 350 okay so like 350 minus 225 which equals to 125 so like option number two is correct now this makes option number four every student has taken at least one course uh, completely false because there are many there are 125 students who has not taken any either any of the three courses now checking the third option that is uh, there are 175 students who has taken at least two courses so like now we will consider student who has taken at least two courses and they can take maximum of any number of courses so like now we have to do students in uh, we have to add up the students in mathematics and statistics only plus uh, student in mathematics and english only plus students in statistics and english only plus student who has taken all the three subjects that is 40 plus 45 plus 60 plus 30 equals to 175 so like option number two two and option number three is correct and thank you for uh, seeing this video